My camera got absolutely bullied in this video. <laughs> Luckily, it survived. One off my paddle, puck hits it, and then the other one, uh, player whacked it with their stick. So, luckily it didn't break anything and it was fine, but I did miss a bunch of shots on me because I never actually noticed that it was tilted over. Even though I kind of like look back, I never actually noticed where it hit at the end of it, so it kind of sucks, but hey. The other thing is that glove save where I kind of like go like this and then fall over. So I knew it hit my glove. I knew it hit my helmet. I wasn't sure where it was after that. I thought it was in my glove. I didn't think I could, like I didn't want to squeak out. So I just fell onto my side, kind of trying to keep it sandwiched like this and fell on my side. So like I had someone like I thought I was hurt or something. It wasn't, I just, the way I caught it like right here, it was kind of scooped and I just wasn't sure where it was going. So I just tried to fall on the ice to make sure it didn't fall out. So again, I mentioned uh, stuff about this gear in the last two videos. So, or last three videos ago. So just again, there's not that much talking about here. I think I was just using this stuff just to kind of final use of the set. And I kind of just want to match that glove because I'm going to use the glove for the rest of the year. Again, I said this in the last video with the Bulldogs where they played a lot better. This is against the best team in the league and they won everything. Like their firepower is way better than everyone else. And they had a ton of shots. We probably had eight to 12 shots the whole game. That might be generous. We scored on one of them. My team did solid in terms of defense. I had a ton of shots. I played very good, but my team did a good job of not letting them just have like breakaways and everything and was really solid in that sense. And they deserve a lot of credit for it. You could see at the end where they were happy for the tie and it was fully deserved and they played hard and it was a, like a good game. If my team has a big swings of how they show up. This team compared to the game where we lost like by 12 goals to a team that's not very good is like so different and it's kind of frustrating when that happens. It's just the effort level and like who turns up is hard. It's just spirit league, that's what happens. The goal on this, I totally bit on the wraparound and got lazy and shouldn't have done that and they scored and that's that's it, like I screwed up. There's other mistakes on the ice at the same time to make that shot possible, but it's on me mostly and it sucks. I had to be perfect, I wasn't quite perfect, so. It is what it is, but I was really happy with how the team played and myself played and the gear again, just using the swan song of using it a little bit before I go into like playoff mode because it's coming up shortly in these videos. So if you're buying hockey equipment and you want to support the channel, check out the links in the description. In the US, check out the links to Pure Hockey. In Canada, check out the links to Hockey Supremacy. If you click those links and make a purchase, I get a kickback from the sale. So anything that comes back from that comes right back into the channel so I can make more content and doing like real reviews and stuff. I got buy gear to do a lot of the tests for it. So that costs money and it would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel without buying anything, check out the links in the description to Patreon, buy me a coffee. Everything through there comes again back into the channel so I can make more content and doing real reviews. <laughs>
You're watching HockeyReviews.ca